U.S. Humanities for our first of two mock trials, uh, the trial of John Brown. What you will witness today is a product of hours of developing questions, writing, planning, and practice. Everyone worked diligently, and I'm so proud of them. Let's give them a round of applause. Now, to give you some background on the trial of John Brown, um, John Brown was an abolitionist, meaning he opposed slavery and felt God meant for him to free the slaves. Brown was a controversial figure as he felt that, the, that slavery was a sin and should be stopped any means necessary. Some felt he was a madman hearing campus. voices. He, he perceived to be God. Massive Some felt he was a martyr, in the South. willing to, to die. To Southerners, Brown was a fanatic because he wanted to abolish slavery in a bloodbath. To Northerners, it was either a madman or a saint driven by, the few, by a moral conscience that was forcing an inevitable conflict between the two regions. One week after his capture, while leading the siege of Harper's Ferry, a federal armory in Virginia, Brown was charged with murder, conspiracy, and treason in what one writer called the most monumentous trial in American history. The trial based, as it was, of the moral righteousness or wrongness of slavery was to enter deeply into the conscience of the Northern and Southerners alike. This trial was also to signal the dire consequences because it happened just 18 months before Southern guns were fired on Fort Sumner. The trial of the Commonwealth of Virginia versus John Brown is now in session. You may be seated. Bailiff, will you please read the charges against the defendant? The jurors of the Commonwealth of Virginia, Jefferson County, dutied and paneled upon their oaths, do present that John Brown, Aaron Stevens, and Edwin Kobeck, White Man and Shields Green, and John Copeland, free Negroes together with other evil-minded and traitorous persons, did felonously and traitorously make rebellion Counsel. and Levi Ladies war and against the said Congress. Today you are here to witness a man who has been accused of murder, treason, conspiracy, and is staring execution in the face. Mr. Brown is an extremist. We all know that. Though his intention was to abolish has the burden slavery, to prove treason against uh, Mr. Brown at the end of this trial. Each of you will be able to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that the defendant, John Brown, is not guilty of treason, murder, or conspiracy. George Phelps. Mr. Phelps, what is your profession? I'm a conductor for the Ohio and Baltimore train. What were you doing on the night of October 16th last? I was getting ready to board my train when a patrolman had told me someone had seized the arsenal, so I immediately stopped the train. Mr. Phelps, you saw Shepard Hayward get off at the back of the train. Yes, I did. And you saw John Brown get on at the front of the train. Yes, I did. And you witnessed Hayward get shot. Yes, I did. You solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help me God. I swear. State your name and occupation, sir. Colonel Lewis Washington, plantation owner. What happened on the day of October 16th? On October 16th, at about 1 or 2 in the morning, four men were in my home. Did Captain Brown ever Stevens talk to you? Copeland. Yes. What did he say? He stated that his plan was to seize Harper's Ferry, seize control of Harper's Ferry, and get weapons and give them to the slaves and later revolt. You solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So you got it. I swear. Can you please introduce yourself to the jury? Hello, I'm Joseph Brewer. Were any of you, were any of the hostages John Brown took physically harmed during the duration of their time being Life taken? Or hostage? the other hostages no. in any way? No, John Brown had no intention to hurt me or any of the other hostages. How would you describe the treatment you were given in Brown's custody? He was very respectful and he treated us with dignity. Exactly what this is? This is the constitution that I wrote uh, stating what needs to improve and, and what. In this document, you describe the citizens of the United States as being oppressed by a Supreme Court and thus needing a new government, correct? Brown could yes. not possibly have committed treason because the United States was not at war. And he did not attempt to levy war on the state of Virginia. He didn't even wish it so. The only violence that took place was not to his knowledge and was committed by his reckless men and the people he was fighting against. John Brown is innocent of all charges Give and- Give Mr. Brown your seat, please, Bailey. 
I have, may it please the court, a few words to say. In the first place, I deny everything but what I have all along omitted the decision on my part to free the slaves. I intended, certainly, to have made a clear thing of that matter, as I did last winter when I went into Missouri, and there took slaveries without snapping of a gun on either side, moved them through the country, and finally left them in Canada. I designed to have done the same thing again on a much larger scale. That was all I was. I never intended to murder or treason. So or why the jury is deliberating, our news crew is here, and they're going to ask our witnesses some questions. Can I have George Phelps to the podium, please? Were you terrified of John Brown? Yes, I was. Why is that? He shot someone right in front of me. Did John Brown treat you kindly while being held hostage? Yes, he did. Um, did you fear for your life? Yes, I did. Mr. Farmer, have you and your fellow jurors reached a point? What is your verdict? 